Welcome back. No doubt your own mind is beginning to transform as you realize the transformation you'll be supporting others through. Now that you're starting to get clear on what, why, who, and what the end result actually is, today we'll begin to dive into the how. Now I want to address the perfectionist in you who's going to try and get this perfect the first time. That that is not going to happen, so don't try and create perfection. This is about dumping down your creative ideas and trying to begin the process of sifting through and seeing what is workable, what fits and what does not. You will refine later. For now, just let it flow and have fun with the process. So today, we're going to explore how you will guide your students, the people who are going through your e-course, meaning what is the actual steps that takes them from the point of purchase once they begin the course, what is the first step they take all the way up to the launch summit where the final transformation and the integration takes place to help them move forward and live the thing that you have supported them through in their daily life. So the first question is what do you know you will teach or what tools do you know you will share in the process? What are the tools, the exercises, the information, and the guided processes that you know you must share in order for them to get to your launch summit or final destination. Think about that and write down all of them. For now, don't even worry which order they will go in. That will come. Patience. Have patience. Once you've made that list of all the exercises, tools, and processes, ask yourself this. And if this is your first course, I want to encourage you to keep it simple. Do not make a thousand day process or even a hundred day process and probably not even a 40 day process at this point. You want your customer's journey to be simple and you also want your journey of creating the experience for your customers to be simple. And so I ask you and I ask you to use your intuition and just listen for the first number that comes up and also release your attachments to it for now because the truth will become known later on as you begin to refine. But how long do you anticipate or imagine your course being? How long do you imagine it taking your customers to go through the transformational process you are providing for them with this course? Write down that number. And if you're doubting the number you wrote down, do not worry about that. Just write down the number, because I'm guessing it will probably be in that ballpark range eventually when you create the course. Oh, this is delicious. So now begin to think about when they start your course. Imagine the first step they will take, the first transformational exercise and all of the exercises you will prepare for them because it is a process. There is a step by step by step process. Just like your journey to launch Summit right now of creating the greatest e-course you can imagine, there is a process with specific exercises that lead you all the way up to that end transformation of launching your course. And so right now, begin to write down the order of the steps you know they must take from start to finish. I call this chapter titles or module titles. And so just create a rough outline of the modules or chapter titles for your course, for the main lessons that you will be teaching in that process. You can do it all in point form. You don't have to get specific yet. That will come. So write out the main exercises or information and call them chapter titles. Put that in your journal now. 
so you can start to see an organizational structure appearing before your eyes like magic. It feels good, doesn't it? So now that you have an idea of the types of processes and transformational exercises you will be delivering to create the transformation you're intending to create, now ask yourself, what could you use that you've already created to leverage your time and to leverage the e-course experience? For example, that 21-day e-course that Bradley created long ago that went all over the world and helped people create their habit of meditation. For that, he used a bunch of audio meditations that he had already created and he looked through his blog while creating that course and he found the last two years of blog articles and exercises and he adjusted all of those and changed them and made extra exercises for them but he used them for the main lessons of his e-course and the journaling exercises and so perhaps there's some articles and videos workshop content or handouts coaching processes or homework you've given clients maybe an ebook that you've used that has been very barely read or perhaps there's ideas you put on the shelf that you could now resurrect begin a document that you start to gather all of these things you've already created or have already started and start to compile all of that information into one key location because some of that may be very useful for the autoresponders, for the main lessons, for the PDFs, or possibly as outlines for the videos or audios you will be creating yourself. I know that might be a lot. <laughs> Humans tend to get overwhelmed by details and steps, but don't let it bother you. I encourage you to crank some loud music as you kids like to do. Have fun with this exercise, keep a smile on your face, and brew your favorite drink to cultivate the inspiration you need to start organizing your thoughts and the processes. If you have any questions, go on over to your digital campfire with all of your friends and ask your questions, because you will surely get support there. And in the meantime, I will be floating here with my head in my hand in my pipe, waiting for you to return so we can continue with the next exercise. Have fun doodling your answers in your journal. May you come back feeling confident and clear than the last time we met.